Okay, this is the comparison of the Eugene BF109 uh, to a Spectrum uh, system. Um, I have a number of uh, receivers kicking around that I'm going to try. Let's hope that I have one that fits. What we're going to have to do is uh, cut into the aircraft, probably along the wing here and on this side so that it separates. But first, let's have a look on the underside. And... Oh, there's a panel there. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to cut into this panel and then we're going to pop it out. And I'm going to do that off camera because it's going to take my full focus and I'll probably get in the way of the camera. But let's pop it open and see what we can see in there. Okay, we've uh, cut uh, that panel open and uh, here it is. And uh, we've got it uh, handy here. And what we can see inside is what looks like uh, standard mini servos. Um, looking at the inside there, uh, we can see some wiring down the bottom here. Uh, I'm not quite sure if that goes to uh, the servo here or if it runs to the engine. Um, okay, we have what looks like... Uh, possibly the power lead right here and uh, a couple of other items in here so what i'm going to have to do is now flip this puppy over and gently work my way around and let's remove the wing just started cutting into the wing uh right here and as i moved it i uh, can definitely see that there is the crack to follow so what we're going to do is work our way along there very carefully and this is kind of spongy i've never actually worked on this material i'm more used to balsa or uh, basswood so this is going to be entertaining and i'm going to uh oh yeah we can definitely see uh the line to follow right along here and i assume on the other side uh, however, I believe it's hidden by paint. Now, I'm a little interested in this here, whether I should just cut across here or what appears to be a kind of outline right here. Um, when we get to that, uh, we'll uh, take a closer look at it. But uh, back to cutting into it. And as I said, I'm going to have to do this off camera because I'll either get in the way or something. Okay, we've got the wing off and the servo's still connected and boy was that a chore. Looks like I'm going to have to do some very careful gluing when I glue it back together. Um, it's a lot harder than I thought. Uh, but now it's apart, we can get to work and uh, replace uh, the necessary uh, components. Uh, I might be lucky and the engine... Uh, may plug into one of the boards that I have looking at it. Um, we will see. And I will be back shortly. Okay, it looks like I've been trying to uh, disconnect uh, the servo for the ailerons, but it doesn't look like I can reach down there properly. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to grab the ball by the horns and see if I can pry out uh, the circuit board or the receiver and be able to unplug everything else from there um you know this is more complicated and is above my skill but i'm going to give it a try anyway um after all you know it, it doesn't fly worth a damn so i might as well go death or glory let's uh we come out with some glory more than likely we'll come out with death of the aircraft which is kind of sad but it's a learning experience for myself and for you. Sadly, it doesn't look like I can get uh, the receiver out there. It is glued in like you wouldn't believe. Uh, so I guess uh, it's a dead uh, Ishin BF-109. Uh, it would have been nice to have been able to resurrect it. Um, but the only useful things I can salvage from here is probably the engine and uh, the servos or at least one servo which may come in use uh, elsewhere um i guess 
I'm going to have to uh, order a new one. Um, but I'm going to wait until they improve. Um, it's rather sad to see that this is nothing but a piece of rubbish now. Other than the salvageable servo and the salvageable uh, engine. Kind of sad. Well, not kind of sad, is sad. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the skills. I'm sure somebody out there that will see this will go, oh yeah, you needed to do this or that. Um, well, all I'm going to do is start cutting things apart and salvaging uh, what I can. Kind of sad. Mm -hmm. 